Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. Thank you all so much for the incredible support on the first couple of episodes. Um, by the time of this recording, the first two have gone live and people seem to be really loving it. Don't know what it is, uh, but I'm really glad because I've been enjoying the game for, for what the game is, is trying to be. Some of my favorite stuff in games is immersion and, and, and simulation. This game is at least attempting that and we'll see how good it gets as we learn more and more about the game. But anyway, we're here to bury our parents. We need to find a shovel to do so, so let's do that. Whoa! Was that man standing straight up and then fall over on us? Oh, we're back here. Why am I back here? Ah, oh, dang it. Alright, well, we just gotta go find our parents. It's fine. We're gonna have to fight, I think, um, one of the, the people uh, that we fought once or twice. Oh, we're gonna have to level up and everything again. What happened? Why is that what happened? Alright, well, that's fine. Um... Let's just do what we always do. Hey, buddy, I hear you're looting bodies over here. That's a big no-no, sir. Naughty boy. Yeah. Oh, That's right. You go. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm gonna stab you. Down you go. All right, I'm just gonna. Are you? Are you dead? See, <laughs> dude, he's doing the worm. He's wiggling. It says mercy kill him. But uh. What am I wearing right now? Am I wearing all the hunter stuff? I lost all that hunter stuff because the because the save system is weird in this game. Alright, mercy mercy kill the guy. God. Alright, I'm sorry. I gotta become a hard man on the road. Your limping body and all that stuff is just is there for me. I'm gonna leave almost all of these. And by almost all of it, apparently I just I just mean the coif, because it looks stupid. Wear that. Old boots were eh, they're actually they're they're cleaner, technically, but that's fine. We'll put down this. Well, what did this take us? Does this take off anything? No. So we'll put that on. Leather jerkin, light gambeson for a little extra defense. So I'm not sure it's going to actually give us much because its durability is low. Uh, that's okay, though. Sorry. Sorry. Hello. Hello, world. I'm back. It's, it's been a, a hot minute, and by a hot minute, it's been a little while. So this is actually, the game has launched, and the day one patch I thought was implemented. I thought I had the day one patch in the review code that they gave me. Not entirely sure that that's actually correct. Uh, so we'll see if there's anything happening. Um, oops. Uh, hopefully, the at the very least, like my biggest, the biggest thing I want to see changed between the pre-patch and post-patch is the conversations, man. Not that they're bad conversations, but the loading time involved with those conversations was, like, really, really, really high. To the point of ridiculousness. Um, and uh, to the point of, of, of averting me from wanting to even, you know, do that stuff. To, to start conversations. So, I am sincerely hoping that there is going to be... Uh, that the, the, the patch wasn't implemented in the code that I had and that the patch will now be implemented and the game is a bit better optimized. I'm expecting a ton of bugs. This is a hugely ambitious game from an indie dev. Um, so I fully expect there to be a ton of bugs uh, from this in the similar vein that we see in like games like Skyrim because it's such a lower budget and such a smaller team. Maybe even worse. But as long as they're not game breaking in any way, I'm okay with it. I have a lot of tolerance for what is... Um, colloquially known as Eurojank games because those Eurojank games have some of the most ambitious ideas behind them. And uh, that was a really weird noise I thought I heard. Yeah, I think I hear a pig. Oop, don't fall into the river. Uh, yeah, Eurojank games have some of the most ambitious ideas behind them. And uh, have some of the most fun elements of video games nowadays. I mean, Mountain Blade... I was talking to Dean, my editor for Judge Mathis. If you don't know what that is, youtube.com slash Judge Mathis Games. Um, Judge Mathis Games. We were just talking about how Mountain Blade is probably my favorite, Euro, his favorite Eurojank game. And mine. Um, because there's so much depth beyond the jankiness. Some depth that you would never see in other games. Um, in modern AAA stuff. So, yeah, I have, I have a lot of love for the ambition behind these games. But then you get stuff like this where you're trying to hop a wall and you just you can't do it. Even though the animation is saying you can but the game is saying you can't. I was trying to get like a, a wall hop 
Come on. <laughs> Come on, game. Hook me up. Come on. I just... Let me, let me have this freedom. I'm just, I just sat here praising your ilk. <laughs> like, give me, give me this. Thank you. We've, I remember coming through here. We got a fast travel point. We got to find our friend. Uh, and we also need to find... Our parents' bodies again, I think. Yeah, because we're going to go along this path here, and then there's going to be the hunter. We're going to get all his clothing, basically wear it all, dump everything else, and move on. All right, let's do that. Again, the music is incredible. Really love it, and the voice acting is also fantastic. Game is, is very pretty, no question. I think we're going to come up on him here. Alright, sir. You just... Oh, he's just like just kneeling down. Alright, man. Hey, buddy. I'm going to charge you. And You're swing in at you. Actually, no. It's you. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wonder if I can get him to surrender or not. Fuck it. Well, dude, don't fuck it. Mercy kill again, huh? Alright, well. I'm gonna mercy kill you because I want your armor. Sorry, man. You're just a bandit looting what most once, my friend and family. Can't let you get away with it. Not anymore. There's that dog again. Bandage. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then we will uh, equip the good shit. Get rid of the bad shit. Armor, defense, defense. Yes, nine, nine armor on that. I guess I'm going to drop this because it's, a, it's just as destroyed. And I imagine it doesn't actually do anything for us, so. We'll get rid of that. Um, we'll get we'll put this one on and drop this one because it's all busted. I'm gonna drop the green shirt. Old boots, foot wraps. Let's get working boots on. Just trying to kind of clean up a bit. It's all bloodied. My blade has been bloodied. I'm gonna leave the axe there though. What were you looting though? Anything good? You had a coin on him. How dare you loot my friends and family, sir? You must die for your transgressions. Uh, hey, Tim, since you're not breathing anymore, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab what was in your pockets. You know, it's just nothing personal, buddy. All right, hey, how's it going? Oh no, you didn't run like my friends did, or like I did, because I'm a punk bitch. I'm gonna take your sword, the shard, or just shard. I guess he named a sword? I think that's not something I actually never looked at. If we actually look at our weapons here, that's damage. It's not as much as shard. Shard is also... It looks broken? Where'd my sword just go? What? Poor quality arrow. Where did my sword just go, though? <laughs> Trying to use a weapon that requires abilities that I don't have. Wait a minute, though. Did that just bug out? Did me equipping another sword get rid of my other one? Sir Radzig's Koblia's sword. I need that. Why is that not in my weapons? I thought it would be in here. It's not. <clears throat> Alright, well. Weird. 
That has to be a bug. As long as it's still there, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it, but. You stood by your side when we did this to you. In the end, you didn't run away. You didn't abandon me like me. Because I'm a coward. Keep moving forward. Okay, we can find our parents, which we can just skip by, because we've already seen it. Okay, so I need to find a shovel now. Hey, Mom. It's not stealing if you're dead, right? Ooh, hey, Dad, you had some money on you? No. Thanks, Dad. You sleep nicely, though. You sleep very nice. Mouth open, just slightly agape. So we need to find a shovel. Did I miss my friend? I thought my friend, I found my friend at some point. I'm not crazy, right? Is that something I didn't find? Maybe I saw it in a video at some point? I swear I saw my friend. Because I did watch some video reviews of this game. So I'm not sure if I'm completely misremembering. Well, what we can do is try and be, like, put ourselves in the mind of our good friend here. We are in a village of medieval people. Where would be the most likely place that we will find a shovel? Oh. I hear a dog. Again, I don't know if it's... Oh, that's gotta be an actual dog. Oh, that sounds like a person fighting. Oh, you know what? I think I'm misremembering. I don't think we saw our friend. I think I remember seeing a review and they showed off the part where I think my friend is facing off a dog. I can hear him. Hello? You're over there somewhere. I don't know how to get over there. I know I lived here for 20 years, but I am very lost. Coming. Wait. Where the heck? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, he's got a shovel. That'll do it. Get away, you must. Get away, you beast! Don't kill the animal. Zbyshek. Zbyshek. What in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. He's hungry. Isn't that the butchers? And isn't that body the butchers? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? Poor doggy. He's guarding him. He's guarding his owner. I understand, even though the owner's dead. I get it. He also probably will eat the body later. He's protecting his master. Also, my coif just reappeared. He's protecting his master. I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing? Well, my parents are dead, and I wanted to bury them. But I could also ask first, because I've got a bloody sword! I asked what you're doing here. How about you give me an answer? If I want to confess, I'll go to the priest. Well, I mean, go I won. And leave me in peace. Ooh, I'll beat you up, my dude. Have I disturbed your looting? Oh, he's got a nine, huh? I still don't. I mean, I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of coin. And now that I think of it, your sword... You really gonna fight me? Nicely as well. 
Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the? This guy is trying to muscle me. The only way you'll touch this sword is when I shove it in your guts. But I just got a success. Come here, mo mother. Wait, you're running. Well, that's right, sir. You run away. So it worked. Even though he threatened to fight me, he ran away because he's a punk. And he left me the spade. Thank you. Hey, pup. Can I talk to you? Easy now, boy. You know me. Your good master won't be needing this anymore. Damn, damn looters. Damn looters. Uh, listen. I can talk the talk. Doesn't mean I have to walk the walk. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. I threatened him. If he ends up being a better person in the future because of my threats, have I done anything really wrong? Maybe I'm still, you know, I might be a dick, but I prevented the dickishness from multiplying. I quashed it. The important thing about being a self-righteous dick is that you're the only dick, and you stop other people from being a dick. Oh, this is where we trained. Aw. For that, like, five minutes. All right, so we're, we're definitely close to home, since that's probably my home right there. Maybe we'll get a clue up by the linen tree, or the linden tree. What's going on with my dad? Other than the fact that he's dead. Important to know. I have a feeling my dad was part of uh, the insurgency that was going on, maybe under the nose of the king. Hell yeah. Here's my dad's forge. Hey, Dad. Remember when we had a sweet conversation here? That was fun. Good memories. I'm assuming they robbed the shit out of the house. But let's head inside and see if there's anything worth grabbing. My bed. The food is gone. Nothing inside the chest. Is it considered stealing now, Mom? Huh? Probably should eat soon. Still no lock picks. I wonder how we get that. All right, let's dig under the linden See tree. The You're gonna like it. Yeah, I'm gonna love it. Start digging. It's really weird that these cutscenes vary between 60 frames a second and 20. But only the cutscenes. The game runs fine for the most part. Hey, you wanna be my buddy? I don't know if I wanna take on that responsibility. I'm gonna have to probably feed you and shit. Or you're gonna die. Damn it all. How am I going to do this? 
Do you need some help? Oh, shit. Is that him? Yes. Can't you see the sword? <laughs> oh, right. God. What do you want? Spishek? Who do you think we are? Franciscan brothers? <laughs> well, shit. We're here to rob you of everything you've got. Especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you, anyway. Banish the thought. It is my father's sword. You mean him? I don't think he's going to be needing it anymore. There's no way. Listen, I'll take all that armor he's got, but... You hand over that sword. I might just let you go. If not, you're in for a family reunion you really don't want. Leave me alone. Kill him, runt! I cut the bastard down. As you like. Could have just cost you a few teeth. Ah! You let him exhaust himself. That thing is a big old weapon. You really gonna make me fight this dude? Alright, well, maybe that was because I threatened the shit out of uh, that guy instead of, you know, talk to him nicely. Okay, well, we fucked up that. Ow! Okay! Really? One hit and it took me out like that? I told you how it would end. You should have listened to me. This is nice work. The chief is going to like it. It's new, isn't it? I mean, killed a few people with it. Now, for the maiden bloodletting. Not true, I killed about five people. Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. Well, I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers! Ooh. Hey, girl. <laughs> the game's on. Oh, hey, texture popping. So I lose my sword now, huh? Oh, he's gonna be so mad I ran away. <sighs> Damn it, man. I lost the sword that I literally murdered a ton of people. You parted with Sir Red Zig's sword. Well, shit.
All right. Shit. Ooh. Near death hallucinations. Awakening. Oh, shit. Let's go. Save your parents. Oh, of course. I'm sure this is not a dream in any way, actually. It's all reality. I hate the lock on, man. It's really actually incredibly hard to see. Okay. There's not much I can do when, when it's two on one. Whoop, I got him! Don't, no. Mama! I'm here, I saved you. I have, no, I didn't. Never mind, that's not mom. Into the darkness we run. Saving friends and family until the day is done. Hello? Hello? I discovered a fast travel point? Do you need some help? Discovered Miller. It's Miller time. Miller High Life, you know, the usual beer related puns. Wake up, Henry. Oh, it's Jesus. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Teresa! Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Okay. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't so know in between, to go. right? What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Few delirious days later. You're awake. Oh, all right. You haven't gone anywhere. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you find me, actually? How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Okay, but what were you doing there? What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. Oh, good. Good. What? Happiness. They killed my brothers. My family. My friends. They're all dead. Literally just all, all dead? How oh, weird. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. 
I'm a different person now. Okay. They were looking for me? Searching for me. Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing it's interested gotta be to in do a blacksmith? It's gotta be what to do so with my Divish dad. promised Sir Radzik he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. I'm tired. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Girl, you make me weak in the knees with that cute face and those cute freckles. I have a thing for freckles, just saying, ladies. Love them. Ugh. Good morning to you. Oh, hey How's again. How's the invalid today? First of all, rude. Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. What? Why did they do that? Your sense of back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If he'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. Luckily, I robbed everybody. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Fuck if I know. Well enough to do. I mean, look at my stats. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal of a coin you owe him. I've been lying here two weeks. My God. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. If it weren't for my uncle, you wouldn't be here at all. I owe you my life. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. There's food on the table for you. Well, I, I wonder if I still have all my gear. Retay Mill is your new home. You can sleep here whenever you want, and you have your own trunk here. The contents of this trunk will be available to you in all your homes and rented lodgings. Oh, so much for fucking realism. Yeah, I still got everything. Good. Let's uh, we'll 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 pick our gear here in a minute. Let's uh, let's go ahead and eat a sweet pancake. Get Father's sword back. Find out who led the raid on Scallops and avenge your family. All right. Let's um. pop our nourishment as high as we can. Uh, we still have a lot of food, which is fine. We're just gonna go ahead and eat from the pot, because we're savages. Uh, all right. We have a lot of quests. We'll go through those in a minute. I wanna take all of those, all the apples. I mean, I could just take everything. Yeah, let's just take all. Sort by defense, on, 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 on. On. On? Eh, boots look better. I still look, like, bloodied up, but surprisingly, it actually doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna wanna wear... I'm gonna have to carry this around. Because my skills are not good enough for the shard. I don't know what the skills are required for the shard. Minimum agility 3, minimum agility 3. That's the issue. And right now, my character, if we take a look at him, has an agility of a whopping 2. We're going to have to keep bumping up our agility if we have the chance. And I think running around is probably our best bet. But for now, we'll just kind of equi equip that. <coughs> Fine. Mark Vard von Olitz and avenge your parents. Yep, I'm on it. Okay, things for my trunk. I got it. So we have a bunch of... We have to basically start paying off our debt. That's what it boils down to. And if we take a look at our map... We are, I'm assuming, in the in-between town? No, we are relatively far from where we were, actually. Okay, and if we go into our journal, we have a good... Talk to Miller Peshek. Miller Peshek and his niece, Teresa, took care of me while I was at I owe in my life. Side quest. We have to do that. Awakening. Go to Perkstein to see Sir Ragzig, and then Vengeance. Get my father's sword. So these are our main quests. We have a, the good thief, though. So let's actually talk to the miller here. We can completely ignore him, it seems, but we're not gonna. Hey! 
Let's see if there's any loading happening if I want to do a side quest. Have you eaten yet? Yes, I've eaten. Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. There's a little loading there, by the way. Okay. Well, we've got a lot of woods we can go and explore. What is the main A? Let's actually just turn off all quests except for the good thief for right now. He's over there. Just kind of exploring, seeing if there's anything worth grabbing. Again, I, I, I am a little concerned there's not going to be too much uh, as far as hidden secrets and explorable areas. The game may be very open and explorable, but uh, we'll see how much there actually is in terms of like discovery and all that. That's really pretty. Like, that is all just gorgeous to look at. I'm excited to get out there. So that's the mill. Is that him? Glowing in the dark? Hey. Miller Peshek, let's talk, buddy. I'm Henry, thanks for taking care of me. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the Miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took Teresa. care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo. Okay, not my fault. you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. And it's not something any fool can do. All right. You prove to me you're a clever lad. I might trust you with something you could really make money from. Is that why this is called the what thief quest or whatever? What do you need from me? Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. And not get caught. You literally are asking me to be a thief. That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Do corpses bother you? What do you? No what honorable do you, what? man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? I mean, kind of. You could dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. Tell me more. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on. Tell me more. Listen, it's about this ring my mate, Wodzik, Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. That's the, that's the motto of YouTubers Whenever nowadays. Whenever in heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful. Think, I think Logan Paul printed it on a sweater Bible. and sold it's it. still a human body, only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Whatever, I'll do it. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. If you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. And here's something on the side to make me dig better. Thanks. To make me dig better? I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well, don't vex him. Great. Oh, we got some schnapps so I can save it. Great. So I can try it again and again and again. All right, well, we're going to dig up a corpse because it sounds like a stealth tutorial. And that's what I need. A stealth tutorial. All right. I mean, is there a shovel somewhere around here? Hey, you got a shovel here or up there maybe? 
Whoop. No, no shovels. All right, well. I'm sure I can find one. All right. In here, maybe? No, it's a lock pick and I don't have it. Hey, man, can you just, like, hook me up with a shovel? Really? Hey, dude. Can... You want me to dig up a corpse for you and you're just like, fuck you, find a shovel. Dude, just give me a shovel. This where you have your weird Satan meetings? I bet it is, you nasty, nasty devil man. This is a, quite a nice little, like, plot of land this guy's got. There's no way he li- no, he doesn't live alone. I was gonna say, there's no way this is all his. It's not. Surprise, surprise. Well, let's see. Alright, well we got a fast travel thing here, which is great. I'm gonna find a shovel and we're just gonna walk our way there. I discovered the mill? Did I not uh, discover it before? I can actually climb up there. The worst part is, I'm sure commenters have seen it already. What was this? I'm sure I, oh, gross. Just dead, this is like your decomposition pile? That's gotta be like compost, right? Like that's that's the medieval version of compost. I'm just sitting, oh, really? You rendered like grass in there? No, there's nothing in there. That's just the graphics poking through. Maybe I can ask him and he'll just tell me. Okay, where's your damn shovel? Just give me your shovel. Where can I find a shovel? Oh, he gave me lockpick. Sweet. Where can I find a shovel? There's one right outside, leaning against the cart. I missed it? All right. Teach me how to use lockpicks. Daddy needs to learn. Okay, I'll try. Hold the lockpick in your right hand and use it to feel out the tumbler. In your left hand, you hold the blade and use it to turn the whole mechanism like a globe. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Got it? Good. What? Now turn the whole lock with the blade, but don't stop holding the tumbler with the pick. Otherwise, you'll be fucked and you'll have to start all over again. What? Help. In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory, although it's better to have one or two spares since they get worn with use and in the worst case can break. You start by actually lock picking process, the actual by holding E on the lock. You'll then see a diagram of the lock. Okay. This is how close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor and it turns gold when you find it. Then you have to use the lock pick to turn the whole lock mechanism. At the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lock pick with the rotation of the mechanism because the rotation shifts the position to the sweet spot. Try and turn the mechanism without having the lock pick in the correct position. Mechanism will stick, which will damage your lock pick or even break it. Any damage to the lock pick will produce a noise, which can draw attention. This sounds convoluted. So I, okay, I see. You're That's- a hand help. Make something out of you, yeah. Fucking terrible. Alright, that actually was pretty... Well, I need to go to your cart. Nah, not a fan. I like the, you know, one of the few things I actually do like about the Skyrim modern Fallout stuff is... Is actually how they handle lockpicking. It's easy, but I like... Okay. I meant to pick it up, not punch it. All right, well, let's head out into the woods. Let's get this ring for this guy. 
We're gonna go on foot. Hopefully we'll level up our uh, agility along the way. I think jumping helps. We're gonna do old Morrowind style of leveling. Jumping a bunch. What are these? These like drying racks? I'm not entirely sure. But let, yeah, let's get this quest done. Do I have a horse? Nope. It's gonna be that type of game too. A lot of like games like this, and I say like this meaning Euro jank games. Um, what I like about them is they really love, and it's part of my, it's one of my favorite things in, in most games, not just in video games, but in D&D and tabletop games. I love games that start you as a nobody and they make you work your way up to becoming a somebody, earning it, going from rags to riches. In gaming is one of my is is honestly one of my favorite things ever. Most D and D campaigns that have lasted a long time for me that I've played in and really enjoyed are very much uh, because I get to I get to play my character at level one or sometimes even before they get a, a heroic level and they be, they're just like civilians and working your way up. It's one of the reasons I actually really love Mountain Warblade. Because the idea of being a nobody in this in this king court, you know, being a mercenary for hire and all this other stuff, and then eventually working your way up to being a king yourself is awesome. I can talk to the townsmen. There's still loading happening in between conversations. It's a bit it's a bit crazy to me that this is happening. About Rate. What do you got? What kind of lord is Hanush? What kind of governor is Sahanesh? He's strict but just. Thank God for him. He don't get mixed up in nothing like that Sir Radzig. So you don't see no one attacking us. How's life in Rate? What's life like in Ratai? Good. Or it was till them refugees came. Still, we're better off here than most places. Well, we need a wall. Uh, how does Rate? How do the Ratai folk get on with... I want to say Rate, even though it's Ratai. Oh, don't even talk to me about it. I wish that rabble was gone. I know they've met with misfortune, but here they do nothing but thieve and make problems. I don't know. Have you met the miller? All right. Goodbye. I got some thieving to do. Um, don't worry. It's an up and up a job for a townsfolk. All right. Here's the first part where we get to actually venture off kind of the beaten path. Though there are trails, but we really get a good look at the woods here. And this is going to be, we're going to get a lot of this, so it better be damn good. Because we're going to get through this whole game. I don't know if, you know, the audience will want to stick around for an entire playthrough. Um, but if we want to do this kind of thing, you know, we're going to be doing a lot of walking in the woods. And we're going to need to make sure the, the devs better have made it interesting. Some wildlife would be neat. I don't need everything, like something every five seconds, but... Enough to keep things interesting. What is this? Hey, Piggy. Alright. Where the heck am I? Lockpick. I mean, I'm tempted to just immediately start robbing people. Hey, you stopped when you saw me and your arm's all janky. Oh, it's the executioner. Hey! Let's talk to him, actually. Let's see if we can get through this. Trying to get him out of the house. Ooh. Not long ago you buried this convict. Let's try it speech. Miller Peshek sent me. He's very sorry, but by mistake, he didn't give you the full weight of flour last time. He says you should come and get the balance. That rogue. How much is it? Half Half a I know. That's nothing to sneeze at. It certainly isn't. I'll go there right away. Goodbye. What are you mad at me for, dude? Everybody wants me to punch a chicken, by the way. I don't know if I want to punch a chicken. Well, we're gonna wash ourselves. We gotta look presentable if we're gonna dig up a grave. I wish I could close these doors. Well, <laughs> that worked out really nicely. We just kind of walked in and said, hey, someone owes your money, go get it. We're just gonna dig this grave up in the middle of the damn day. Gallows Hill. Execution places were situated on hilltops as at crossroads and out of town as they were considered unclean. These were deserted places that everyone avoided. No craftsmen would work, near, work nearby for fear of losing his reputation. 
The only one to be seen thereabouts is the Executioner, who often lived near the site. Common folk would approach the gallows of execution place for the sole purpose of witnessing an execution. Execution became popular folk entertainment, often the whole town gathering to watch. But sentencing to capital punishment was a right granted only to select towns. And by no means all of them had their own executioner. Cool. Little history for you. Now I gotta find this grave. I'm assuming this is it. Don't notice me. I need to dig up a body. Oh, okay. It's actually gonna do it in real time. Christ, wound! What a fucking stink! How long have you Don't. been lying here? Nothing on the left hand. The right. Oh shit! There's nothing there either. Where the fuck is that ring? <coughs> oh, a stench makes me want to puke. Peshit will pay for this. All right. Well, we did it. Wonder if the executioner robbed him of the ring. I kind of want to know. But I don't know if I want to drink schnapps to find out. Oh, there's a shovel here, too. Don't mind me. I'm gonna wash all the corpse off of me. Sorry. Why don't we down a schnapps and give this a shot? So we'll save it. It's close. It's right. Okay, we, we failed. What is happening? Okay, so I can't stop turning it. That's really infuriating. Did it break? You don't have a lock pick. Let's actually just go ahead and load it then. Load it. I wanted to bust in. I don't I really don't like the way lock picking is in this game and I and that's considered an easy lock. I wonder if I'll just get better over time. I'll give it like another shot. Oh, it moves. I don't understand. I just, it doesn't work. One more go. This is why the snaps are limited, so you don't just, like, push your way through the game like I am right now. I get it. At the same time, I, f I see why people don't like the lock-picking system. Because, like, it gets shaky. It gets really shaky the more you do it, which is really weird. I don't. He gave me lockpicks, man. So I imagine I'm supposed to be trying to bust my way in through this thing. I wonder if there's another door. Nope. Invisible wall. Because what's cursor? Left, right, up, down. Oh, I getcha. I absolutely despise the lock picking. It's gold. There we go. Goodbye. It's another easy lock pick. But for now, I'm just gonna eat from his pot of soup. I 
I know I'm trespassing. Is there anything in here? Okay. Rob him. Dead man's ring. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. If you steal, make sure no one sees you, but even selling the loot isn't easy. You might get away with selling a stolen apple, but word will get around if you steal something valuable and traders will recognize it. Try going to a trader as far away as possible from the scene of the theft. Find someone who deals in stolen goods like a fence. Okay, let's actually go ahead and close this. We're going to get the hell out of here in a minute. But let's see if there's anything good in here. We might as well. Okay. We're getting... Uh, it's still garbage. I still don't like it, but... A beggar's tunic, a bludgeon. We'll take that. We'll take all of his money. A beggar's tunic and a brown... Let's take the brown felt hat. Nothing's really all that valuable here. But... Value is dependent on the person who has it, so maybe it's valuable to me. Alright. Found the dead man's ring. Dude stole it. Had a feeling. The game did give me lock picks, so they were like, hey, maybe you should pick a lock, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> just, just saying. Wasn't even that far of a walk. If we take a look at the map... Yeah, this map is not going to be very big. It looks like it might be actually pretty big, but... Everything considered, it actually does not seem like it's going to be that big. Rate. I already how did I just now discover Rate? Ratai, Ratai, whatever you want to call it. Because my dude, I woke up here. Beautiful still though. Hopefully the executioner is, is uh, if that's him, he's not like, hey, how is my house? Hey, you are the executioner. Whoopsies. I love that he was walking by me after doing it. He's like, you're a freaking piece of shit. How dare you lie to me? Are we not almost there? We are. I should have fast traveled actually, but man, that's a gorgeous sight. Look at that butterfly in the sunlight. Beautiful. Hey dude, I lied to him. I hope you dealt with him. Hello? I did it. I am your little thief. Ring thief. Good day to you. Hello to you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon, too. A clever Ooh. fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy risky goods from you. Oh, okay, I he's mean, a fence. the kind that used to belong to someone else and you can't sell to just anyone. Stolen goods. Thanks, but no thanks. Now you're a thief, a my thief. dude. You're a big old thief. Tell me something about... Will you teach me to pickpocket? Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? I'm not a thief, but... Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own. Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Mm. Well, okay, just dump that bag there, no problem. The dude is so eager to teach me to be an illegal thief. He just drops it and he's like, you know what? Come with me. I can't wait to show you how to be a thief. 
Henry, I'm glad you came. Yeah, I bet you are. I have a bludgeon and a brown felt hat. I really need to sell these to him. But I might want to hang on to this bludgeon. But I probably also don't want to. God be with you, Henry. Yeah, he's so he's so happy that I stole things off of a corpse. How are you, Henry? Great. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. Sure. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. Okay. Hello. Caught you. If this was for real, I'm yelling for a guard. Let's try it again. Caught you. Wait, what? If this was for real, I'm yelling for a guard. Let's try it again. Caught you. I okay. If this was for real, I'm yelling for a caught you. Okay, gotta hold on to this. For real, I'm yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you. So I can only do it, real, and that's telling me I'm buying myself seconds. T, give me help, give me help, give me help. Picking pockets is no joking matter. If you're caught with your fingers in someone else's purse, either by the victim or the by a witness, they'll raise the alarm and you'll be pursued by as a thief. I'm gonna rob someone six or three sneak up on the nose and holding it. First step is to grope around inside the purse by holding E. That's not easy, especially if your victim is on the move. The longer you can grope, the more time you will uh, then have to select what you want. Okay, so that literally is setting up a timer for me to mess with things. In order to then steal, you have to exceed the minimum time for groping, which you will recognize by the background of the rows changing from color from red to green. Uh, how long you grope and how much time you have left for stealing items is shown by the yellow... Wait, what? How long you grope and how much time you have left for stealing items is shown by the yellow indicator with the number of seconds in the middle. Whoa. Lord, okay. Here, we you've dipped your hand into someone's purse and you have to get it out with the loot before your time is up and you're caught. The place where you are stealing. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. Um, let's see. If you're an experienced pickpocket and expert in items, you've fully learned the item expert perk. You can also see the properties of the stolen item, which are there. The items you've just stolen. The time that remains before you're caught. The time you'll lose if you decide to steal the item in question. Depends mainly on the weight of the item. Here is some item you have groped out, but you can't find out what it is using E. Then by pressing E again, you can steal it. Holy shit, that's Caught you. insane. Caught you. If this was for Caught you. Okay. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. The the Caught you. Okay. If this was for it's real, it's weird because like gone. once it gets to that Try part, the game is running at sixty frames, but everything is going way slower. It's like it looks like it's going way slower. I'm trying to buy myself as much time as possible. Reveal it, take it. Okay, that's really hard. That like I get it, but it's I hard in a way that's. You there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk, so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Yeah, I need to rob check. only drunks and you're sleeping welcome. folk. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Sure. All right. Weird. That pickpocketing game is fun. I, but no. Why am I saying it's fun? It's a fun idea, and, and what they were trying to do with making it realistic, it's also holy balls. Good lord. Maya, what's out there? Clunky and not that great. Because I have to hit, I can't just rotate with a mouse to pick what I want. Actually, if I want to get to the dagger, I had to hit e D, 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 D until it went all the way around. It's actually kind of insane. But we're going to sit, and we're going to initiate sleeping. Whoa, what is... Hang on.
Reading spot. What is this? I have a reading spot. Button. Can I? Oh, right. The game actually makes you illiterate unless I learn or teach myself to read. Um, we'll worry about that later. We're going to go ahead and sleep so we can get some saving in. We don't want to sleep long. It's still like really early. So we're just going to go ahead and sleep for an hour so we can basically just save it. The world is going to kind of do its thing for an hour. And we're going to wrap up this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. And thank you all so much for the insane support on the series. I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, let me know in the comment section below by hitting the like button. The, the, the support has been incredible. And it's been really, really fun to kind of bring this game to you guys. Um, would love to keep doing it. If you guys want to watch more, you let me know. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.